Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. First of all, I want to apologize for not really uploading. Um, I had to get a new memory card because my other one got stuck on the slot and I can't get it out of my new computer. So I had to get a new one. So sorry about that. Uh, I managed to get everything off of that um, hard drive and upload it, but it's under private because that's under a bunch of old stuff. I want to cover more newer stuff, so sorry about that. <laughs> but today, um, even though I'm about two, three weeks late on this, I do want to cover Ariana Grande's Thank You Next album. Um, I'm doing stuff different. I'm just doing a review for it, so I wrote down some notes on it, and... I just want to give you my overall thoughts on the album and I won't be listening to any music because it's getting more sketchy and sketchier so I just want to do reviews because music is still super important to me and that's something I want to share <laughs> still. So we're just going to go in over a review of it. And so the first one is Imagine and I just said it had a nice beat, really good intro, good transitions throughout the song. I like how it drops, um, and then it drops up, and then you have really great vocals. Reminds me of a touch of Invitation by Britney Spears, like the same type of vibe. And I love the inflections of the song, and have great, great whistle notes. And the high notes are really ace, like really, really, really good. And I give this like a um, I gave this an A minus and three weeks later I'm still listening to the song and I still really enjoy it. So that's a good replay value for me. The next one is Needy and I don't like the intro because it sounds off and like in the wrong key which I personally don't like at all in songs. I like it to be on key and I just make it off. I, uh, it's just kind of, I'm just not really, I wasn't really feeling it and I needed more switch ups and there's some freaking ding in there throughout but the saving grace of the song is the outro which is like miles better and I really love that part. I gave it a C minus. I don't listen to the song. I listened to it like I think three times and that was it. I wasn't really feeling it. Uh, NASA was completely different. I really like the song. Um, it's very melodic. The pre-chorus is great and the chorus is as well. It sounds a lot like Mariah um, in a, like a really really good way. Like in almost like a shake it off that type of um, that type in her voice. It sounds very Mariah like in that song. So I really really enjoyed it. Um, it's just like a great vibe in the song. It had good switch ups in it and very chill. I gave this one A plus and I still listen to the song and still very much enjoy it. Uh, the next one is Bloodline. Um, I like the funny little intro. <laughs> I think it's like by the grandmother or something which I thought was hysterical. I really love that. And it's very melodic. The pre course is great. The um, Sorry it has lots of horns in this which I usually don't like. I usually not I don't like horns in a song. I don't like that type of um, instruments, but this one really works for the song. And the, it's very bass heavy, which I love. And it's basically a banger, and I love the drop. And like I said about the horns, like I usually don't like it, but I love it here. And you have really great ad libs, and I get this A plus, and I still listen to the song, and I'm still not sick of it. And I found it really, really, really good. I want to put this into my workouts and see how it how it does with my other upbeat songs because I need some switch ups. <clears throat> then the next song is uh, Fake Smile and I didn't really know how um, it was I had like an old sample in there and then I kind of kicked into the beat which still kind of carried the sample a little bit throughout the song but it wasn't like heavy which I appreciated. Uh, it has a sick beat, excellent, great runs. Um, the course incorporates the sample and the sick beat, which was a good um, mesh of the two. Has a good bass, reminds me of um, Camilla inflections in the song. And basically, the song's about like, I give no F's, so I'm going to say how I feel, and you're going to deal with it. <laughs> and it's, it's going to tell it how it is. And um, I guess it's an A minus, it would have been an A plus, but um, 
I still listen to the song a lot and I still really, really enjoy it. And I just feel like it's an overall great song. And then we cut to number six, which is um, Bad Idea. This song grabbed me quick. <laughs> like, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, I'm going to love the song no matter what. Like, since that first second hit, I was like, oh, snap. Uh, it was a really, really nice beat right out the gate. It's my type of song. It has a great bass. Like, I was like, damn. A really great chorus and, and an excellent classical switch up, which usually doesn't happen in these type of songs, but I really appreciate it. And this one, it was really, really, really good. And the high notes were awesome. You had classic switch up and they had another bass spot. Then the slower vocals were kind of like meh for me. It, but um, I've been listening to a, this, this is probably the song I've been listening to literally the most. And I literally would give the song an A+. Plus, and that is regarding the, um, the outro. Because I don't like it when it's kind of slowed down, but it did it in such a way that I didn't totally hate it though. So I still really liked it. But this is was a freaking standout for me. I love the song. The next one is um, called Makeup, and I literally just wasn't feeling it. It was another off-key song, like Needy, and I was just not feeling it. I feel like it was better than Needy, and but the second half was way better than the first half, so I gave it a B-, minus. but honestly, I don't listen to the song either. I just was not feeling it at all, so I'll probably downgrade this one to like a C-, minus, almost a D, because I just don't listen to it. I just cannot get into it. At all. And uh, number eight is Ghostin. And I really like this one. It has breathy vocals. It has a more classical um, music feel to it. And it kind of picks up throughout the song. You have stronger vocals. And lovely high notes. Great ad libs. And it's suddenly almost angelic to me. And it swells up at them, which I really like. And I gave this one an A. And I still stand by that one. It's a really, really good song. I still listen to it, and just the overall vibe of the song is just very... I don't know, it's almost like something kind of innocent about it. It's kind of hard to explain, but it was really good. Uh, this, uh, the, no, uh, the next song is called In My Head, and it has another sample that's a sick beat, but the sample is annoying throughout, and it's very prominent, kind of like... Um, the other song she had on Sweetener, what was it? Because I don't listen to that song either. Uh, uh, the, the Light is Coming, whatever that song that is. Same type of thing, I love the actual beat, but the sample throughout the song that's at the very beginning does not help it. And, um, but it has strong high notes, had great runs, and a nice switch up, and I give this a B minus. I'll probably downgrade this one to another C minus because I just can't deal with that. You gotta switch up more throughout the song. Like, if you want to incorporate a sample like you did with Fake Smile, then that's what needs to happen. You can't have it throughout the entire song. It's like, oh, I just gonna leave it in there. For me, it does not work at all, but overall, I still really like the song. Um, Seven Rings is the next song. Um, I still listen to this one a lot. It's A minus. I already covered this um, song and it's really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyable, still enjoyable. And then we have Thank You Next, which is I gave it a B plus. Uh, this was a, overall a good song. I just heard it way too many times on the radio, like way too many times, especially when I'm out working. <laughs> And then we have the last song, which is Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. Uh, this one um, also was like the same type of vibe as uh, Break Up, um, Bad Idea. I just freaking love, it just caught me right out, the, out of the gate. It was really good, it had an awesome beat, great vibe. I just didn't know about the pre-chorus, that's the only thing that kind of threw me off, was like it kind of got a little too, like, I guess flat for me for some reason. But um, the rest of the song is like great, it has a fantastic chorus, and it's a crazy earworm. It's still stuck in my head, which I'm not, which I don't mind at all. It had a great bridge, had really good ad libs, and overall I'll give it an A-. The only thing that brought it down was the pre-chorus, and I still stand by that. 
but I'm wanting to like the pre-course more and more every time I listen to it, so eventually it'll probably will upgrade to an A+. Plus. But overall, I gave this album a B plus rating. I feel like that's super fair. Uh, the songs that are strong on, on here are super, 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 super strong, and I freaking love it. I think overall, and I, I actually, I thoroughly enjoy this more than Sweetener, <laughs> which I didn't, which, you know, which, it looks great. And what else? Um, it was just overall a really good song. Just, it was just a good song to listen to. Great album. Um, the standouts was Breaker With Your Girlfriend On Board, NASA, Ghost In, Seven Rings, and Bad Idea. That is like, Bad Idea is like the, probably the pinnacle for me for this album. Uh, that one I really enjoyed a lot. And I do like how she put this out literally six months or less than six months after Thank You Next came out, which I thought was crazy. And she's been promoting both albums and she's taken both of these or on tour, which is super cool. Um, I, I wish more artists were do stuff like that. They just put out music whenever they want and not saying like, oh, we have to do it every two and a half years or whatever. Some people just want to put out stuff and I feel like as long as she wants to do it, then good for her. So anyway, that's it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think. Do you, agree? do you like the album? Do you not? What do you think of this? Just me talking about the album. Is that okay? I know I didn't include any music or anything, but it's just, it's getting super sketchy on YouTube now. So I've been seeing a lot of articles left and right. Like people are just singing part of the song and with no instruments or anything, no instrumental, they're just singing it in not even a great way. And it gets, the whole video gets striked, which, to me, it's stupid. To me, I have, well, that's a whole separate issue. But anyway, um, I ain't going to dive into that. I'll do it in my next video, probably for my other channel. But anyway, I really, really enjoyed this album. And just let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.